Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be discussing about problem B of today's code forces contest round 872 division 2. So the problem was titled as Luo Tiny I and the table. So this problem uh, was uh, not so difficult but for beginners it uh, I will say it is good. So first uh, I will discuss about the problem then I will discuss about the logic then I will uh, discuss about the implementation in code. So the problem says uh, you have been given a, a table of size n into m. So it contains n rows and m columns. Cool. Now we have uh, nm numbers, right? We have size uh, n into m. So how many cells are there? Nm cells are there. So we are given nm numbers. Okay. And each of the numbers uh, must be used exactly once. Cool. Now we have to maximize this summation. So what is this summation? So it is written uh, here. It is written here. It is simplified here. So we have to consider nm sub tables. And uh, what are the uh, constant on the sub tables we should take? Uh, the upper left corner should always be 1 comma 1. Right. So uh, there are many sub tables possible in uh, a table of n into m but you are given that uh, you have to take only those sub cells whose upper left corner is 1 comma 1 cool for each sub sub table calculate the difference between maximum and minimum elements in it then sum of sum of all these differences you should maximize the resulting sum okay so for let me explain first then i will talk about its logic so let's suppose this is n cross n table right so n rows uh, here we have taken four rows and four columns so n is equal to 4 m is equal to 4 so total 16 sub tables will be possible let me tell you how so upper corner is fixed so how can we draw the sub tables like this one this one this one this one again this one this one so and so on so there will be 16 sub tables now what we have to do is we have to maximize the difference in uh, each sub table if we will maximize the difference between maximum value and minimum value in each sub table then their summation is uh, obviously maximized so what we will do is uh, let me just go a little bit down so what we will do is for uh, take an example of a test case like 7 8 9 minus 3 10 8 7 8 9 minus 3 10 8 now look we have uh, two rows and three columns right so we have two rows and three columns we have two rows and three columns cool now uh, how to let me uh, let me tell you how to put elements so that uh, the uh, sum the difference between maximum and uh, minimum elements in each sub table is maximized so one thing is clear that you have to put either maximum value or the minimum value in the first cell why so because every sub table is just starting from this only right because it is given in the question so it is uh, pretty clear that the maximum or the minimum element will be present in the first cell now how i how i should know that which maximum or the minimum element will be there so first take minimum element this is minus 3 and the maximum element in the uh, array is uh, 10 so so let me keep minus 3 first then i will show you so let me keep minus 3 now why i am keeping uh, minimum or the maximum value because when we we take the sub table no this one or this one or this one always the minimum value will be minus 3 right also we take this sub table this sub table always minimum value minus 3 except for sorry uh, yes for all the sub tables minimum value will be minus 3 now what we will do is 
we can put maximum value 10 here or here why so if we will put 10 here no then maximum value will be in this sub table 10 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 so always the maximum value is 10 minimum value is minus 3 so what we are doing is in every sub table we are putting maximum possible value of uh, maximum possible value, um, value and minimum possible value so the difference will be auto automatically maximized in each sub table but look you uh, you have uh, to like wait now let me take another example so i have uh, randomly taken any n and any m here n is 4 and m is 5 right so if we if we put minus uh, minimum value here minimum value and maximum value here so in how many sub tables uh, the maximum value will be not equal to max of the array so you can say that in this in this sub table in this sub table in this sub table and in this sub table in this in these set of sub tables the minimum value is always the minimum value of the array but maximum value is not the maximum value of the array because you have put maximum value here only right so uh, we have put maximum value here apart from these sets of sub tables all other sub tables will have maximum value as the maximum element of the array and minimum value as the minimum uh, value of the array right so what we can say that what we can say from here is we have how many total sub tables it is n into m n into m cool now we will subtract those sets those sets of sub tables in which maximum value is not the uh, max value of the array right so how we know that how many uh, sub tables are there in which the maximum value is not the maximum value of the uh, array so for that we can see here what we will do is we will try to minimize these uh, set means minimize the number of uh, sub tables in which the maximum element is not equal to the maximum element of the array right so we have to minimize this so how we should minimize this we should minimize this by looking at the value of n into m those which is minimum so if n is minimum we will put max here if m is minimum we will put max here right so what we will do is n m minus minimum of n into m into and in those sub tables what will be the difference difference will be maximum value of the array minus minimum value of the whole array right maximum value of the whole array minus minimum value of the whole array but we have to add something more what we should add we should add we should add the summation we should summation we should add the summation of all these uh, set of uh, sub tables so in these sub tables minimum value is already minimum but maximum value what we should put second maximum second maximum of the array so what we will do we, we will uh, how many numbers it is p minus 1 it will be let's say minimum of nm is p so it will be p minus 1 why minus 1 because first cell is always 0 no first summation will be always zero. difference of uh, maximum minus minimum in the first cell is always zero right so we have uh, subtracted one here so how many these uh, sub tables p minus one into into what we will do second maximum minus minimum right but uh, one thing should be clear that i have put minimum in the first cell right let me redraw it first okay let me here So what we have done in previous case, we have put the minimum element of the uh, array here and maximum as here or here according to the uh, value of n and m which is minimum we have put uh, according to the minimum value right. So, 
so what we will do is now you can also say that we can put maximum here yes you are right we can also put maximum here and minimum here or here or here we have put minimum but now what we will do is we will calculate for both the cases we will calculate for both the cases like here we have calculated when we have put minimum in the first cell right so this is the formula when minimum element is put in 1 comma 1 now what we will do is we will put now maximum element in 1 comma 1 and similarly we will calculate the same uh, same uh, in this way only so uh, let me explain in code explain the code then it will be much much clear so this is the code so firstly i have taken input n in n and m as given in the question then uh, i found the minimum value uh, i uh, i uh, said it as p p is minimum of n in, uh, n into uh, n m right now uh, i have initialized one more variable a size s size as n into m right then i have uh, taken input uh, of uh, array given in the question sorry array means uh, the set of numbers so i have uh, taken the input now i have sorted the array why i have sorted i have sorted to know the minimum element and the maximum element of the array now what we uh, what i had did is what what i did is i uh, mx as i took mx as the maximum value of the uh, array which is a s minus 1 and uh, second maximum value as a s minus 2 similarly minimum value as a minus 0 and second minimum value as a of 1 now what i have done is this case is for when uh, minimum element is put in the uh, uh, first box and this is for when maximum element is the put in the uh, first box and uh, then i calculated the maximum value so i hope you like the video and uh, i hope you got the solution thank you